I think that maybe it's the end, the end of the era of the novel and the end of the literary era. Ah, come on. Really? Yeah. I have heard about the death of the novel too often. This is not the death of the novel. Well, death the end of the era. Re death of the reader. Death of the reader. Not the death of the novel. I'm telling you, the novel flourishes in this country. And I can uh, give you uh, the names uh, of 20 people who maybe, you, maybe you've read, maybe you haven't. And I say, you read two books by each of these people over the next two years, you're going to have a very good time. Not by no means the death of the novel. That's, that's crap. That doesn't exist and hasn't existed. Who but or the, what death of, the death of... The, I'm not going to give you a list of 20 on No, no, no. Who, who, who or what killed the reader? Is there a virus around? Or is who there... killed the reader? Do we have any more hours? Do yeah, we have? Yeah, we, we do. Yeah. No? Do you want to talk about this? Well, it's a serious question. It's okay. Not, not putting you down. Um, first, let's establish that the reader is dead. Um, and um, Being a voracious reader myself, this is quite a surprise to hear. But yes, but there will, there will always be uh, people in the catacombs reading. Uh, there will there, there'll always be a cult of, of, of reading and a cult of reading the novel. It'll be very small. Um, and it's, it, every few years or every year, the number of readers diminishes and they're not replaced. Let's just think that they die. For no, that the no, readers, every year we lose 70 readers die, right? They're replaced by two. And that's a fact. And 70 die the next year and they're replaced by two. Well, if we start with 10,000 or whatever. So I think the fact is that if you teach in colleges or you go near them, uh, if you talk to people, your friends, they're not talking about books, they're talking about what they see on the screen. And what replaced the reader or what is the virus that infected the reader that killed the reader? The screen, I think, begins with the movie screen and progresses through the television screen and now through the computer screen. And the screen is much more compelling than the book. And you can say they're going to put the books on the screen, but I don't buy that. Um, the whole experience with, uh, when I say the book, I mean the whole experience with the book. I mean the solitude with the book. I mean the quiet with the book, etc., uh, etc., etc. Et so, one, there's the screen, which is far more compelling than the book. For, I can't tell you the reasons, but it is. Um, and then I think there's something even larger at work. Um, and that is a kind of flight from consciousness of the kind that novels embody. Um, and I th don't think there's an interest in finding out what you can find out about consciousness from the novel. I think the, 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 the great effort of the first half of this century, certainly, was to, as we know, to expand consciousness uh, and to ask the question, what goes on behind, behind things? Um, and um, this was not just Freud's endeavor. It's, even, it's also Marx's endeavor. What's going on behind what we see? What are the invisible forces? But it's also Joyce's endeavor. Uh, Virginia Woolf's. Virginia Kafka's. Yeah. Uh, Proust's. Muzils. Which is Muzils, which is, in, in Proust, it's, it goes and operates another way, which is, I'm going to break this down into the minutest fragments so you see it a new way. So the whole effort, it seems to me, intellectual effort, artistic effort, uh, including the surrealist, including even the Dadaist, was what, do, what is it that we're not seeing? You know? We think we see, but no, we don't see. And the novel is a part of that. And I think there's an abandoning of that quest. Um, I think people, intelligent people, are not interested in what's behind the screen, but what's on the screen. You know? And so I have to tell myself that there's a larger thing here than just some cultural grievance I have. Why don't people read? Something profound is happening which has to do with the end of reading. Certainly the end of reading novels, I think.